Normally I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, that's when my alarm goes off. We pray five times a day, Muslims, and uh, that's the first prayer starts with the morning prayer. My name is Mohammed and uh, I'm originally from Pakistan. Well, Australia as I see it is uh, a multicultural place where you have these different cultures, different beliefs. See, in reality, we actually see of Australia as the white version. Why am I a Muslim? I'm a Muslim because I have firm belief that this life is not where it ends. The, the war on terror, uh, actually the way I see it, or many Muslims see it who understand it, basically we understand it as a war on Islam. America and the Western forces, they are trying to implement the new world order all over the world. And any, the only people that can come in their way as a resistance are the Muslims. First, the word Taliban, what does it mean? Talib in Arabic or in our language is a student and Taliban is just a plural, means students. The Russians came to, to invade Afghanistan back in the 1980s. These students got up and fought these Russians. Soon as the Russians left, these Taliban were successful in establishing an Islamic government in Afghanistan, which was supposed, supposedly the only Islamic government on the face of the earth. And then you see videos about them, you know, uh, beating women and doing this and doing that. A lot of it is not true. Uh, during the afternoon when I have a day off, I like to spend most of my time um, at the mosque. So my replacement of music is basically, I listen to lectures in my car. The first thing you're going to be asked about is prayer. Even before what's in your heart. Before they get to what's in your heart, the first thing you'll be asked about on the Day of Judgment is your prayer. Who says we deny pleasure? If there is a good way, a proper way to do it, you know, with the consent of God, why do you want to do it the other way around? This is uh, the Islamic Youth Center. We don't have an issue with the alcoholic perfumes, but still Muslims prefer perfumes that are non-alcoholic. We have a gym here, modest clothing for the sisters, for the brothers, table tennis and snooker places, a restaurant just next door, boxing classes, jiu-jitsu classes, DVDs on different topics. Uh, are, these, are these shops everywhere? These shops, uh, you'll find a few, but see, this is an Islamic youth center. So it's not just a mosque where people pray. The, the purpose of this youth center is basically to attract the youth. Then when the call for the prayer is called, openly, so now you can be in the middle of a game, but then you straight away you go to the prayers. Allahu Akbar. The purpose of segregating sexes uh, in the mosque is basically to keep the environment pure and to protect the modesty of the brothers and sisters. I mean, uh, it's a place of worship. You go and pray there. You don't want any distractions. Polygamy, uh, I think everyone understands what polygamy is. You know, it's that the right that Muslims have. Uh, I mean, we have that right to marry more than one wife. And it's up to four wives. And the secular West talks about treating women fairly, you know? Well, I think Islam is the, the only religion that treats women fairly. So when a woman is covered, you judge her on her inside. You don't judge her on the size of her breast or the shape of her body, you know? So a woman gets judged equally just like a man. Is that the case in the West? Well, even if they say yes, I would say no. You don't really have to affect others for, your, for the sake of your enjoyment. There's nice ways to enjoy, you know, go to a restaurant. Islam does not forbid you to, uh, you know, enjoy what is your culture. Culture is basically you do from your intellect, you know, and Islam is the word of Allah. So word of Allah comes first before anything. I work as a part-time security guard, a patrol, patrolling uh, officer. And you are crusaders against the evil. It is our responsibility and being a Muslim, you know, it's all about keeping peace and crushing the evil. It's not people that are bad, but it's the society and the traditions that makes a person, you know, or forces, I would say, forces a person to be bad at certain times. So I can say that through implementation of the law of Allah, you know, people would be at peace with Islam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين قالوا ربنا الله ثم استقاموا ثم استقاموا تتنزل عليهم الملائكة تتنزل عليهم الملائكة ألا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشر